Hey builders, Brick Ratty up here with another custom piece haul, this time from Citizen Brick. I've ordered from them in the past, but I just thought I'd go over their packaging a bit for anybody that hasn't gotten their pieces before. As you can see, it comes in a really nice custom box with their neutral face printed on it. Uh, just opening it up, they have really nice tissue paper that they put in here to protect their pieces more, which again, it's printed with their neutral faces on it. Taking that out. They put their pieces in a bag again. Uh, some of these were pre-assembled by me. So let's just kind of look at those quick. So the first thing here are their cyborg robot pieces here. This head is a custom molded piece by them that they use actual ABS Lego plastic, melt it down and then make their own mold. On the top of the head there, the hole is wide enough to fit a stud in it. So you can add a little bit more decoration if you wanted to do something with that. You can just see there's a lot of great mechanical details on the torsos, the legs, and that head. With different wires and gauges and all that. And then also on the back, there's printing on the torso. You can see it has like a little outlet and some more mechanical details. Overall, really cool piece. It's in that pearl silver color there. So you can also put on any other Lego heads that are the same color. So here's a Lego movie robot head there. And overall, just cool figures that if you have a sci-fi or steampunk build, you can throw those in. These torsos right here are some of the more anticipated items for their newest drop. Uh, all of the designs on them were designed by the owner of Citizen Brick's daughter, and they all sold out within, I think, the first day of the release. So I know a lot of people probably missed out on them. I personally missed out on the colors that I wanted. Uh, they were going really quickly, and I kept having to update my cart with different colors because they would sell out in the middle of the checkout process, which is something to bring up with this brand is there's a lot of hype culture around it. So you have to be quick to get some of these items, but it's just the printing on the front. And then also the heads are also Citizen Brick, but this one I got in a different order. One of the main Citizen Brick brandings is their neutral face right there. And also they just have different heads that resemble classic Lego heads, like the frowny one there, where it easily fits in with a Lego collection and just adds more flair and personality to your build. And then the Mr. Bill head there, I just thought it was a fun head to get, so I bought it. Some things I noticed with the printing on these though, on these two torsos there, there's the white on the heads and it's looking a little speckly and there's some color peeking through it, especially on the shark one. So something to keep in mind if he ends up re-releasing these and you get one. Darker colors might not be as good of a print as a lighter color. These are the last couple of heads I got with this order. One being an eye patch one, one being hypnotized, and then an electrocution head. I bought these to be used um, in a couple different fun mock builds. Like most of their heads, just the printing on the one side, the quality on those are really great. There's not a lot of color showing through. Also just on heads like this hypnosis one, there's just a lot of those like very fine detailed lines that don't have a lot of color bleeding through them. With the eye patch one I bought to put on a shield agent body and then make it into a Nick Fury figure, there's a lot of different customization opportunities to create figures that haven't been fully made by Lego like this classic Nick Fury. They go along with the ultimate style Nick Fury that has been released in so many different sets. The hypnotized head, I thought would be kind of cool if I ever did a vampire mock or any sort of superhero mock where they're brainwashed. And the electrocution one I bought uh, for an intended use with like a bathtub electrocution or fork in an outlet sort of build, but I don't have the pieces for that yet. So here it is with a guy being electrocuted by the robots I showed earlier. And with a guy getting electrocuted is another torso print with their dad bod piece, which has the chest hair on the front, the stomach, and on the arm it has that mom tattoo. Another torso I got in this order is this fringe vest here. On the front, white printing on this darker orange color. The white is not letting any of that orange peek through, which is really great to see. It has the white sleeves on, and then on the back also, there's these really great ruffle printings there. At the time when I bought this, I didn't really have any goals for what to use it for, but I pivoted and I turned it into an Inigo Montoya figure that I used in a mock 
which is going to have a video up soon. There's what that figure looks like. And the last part of my order right here is a custom printed Magic 8 Ball. You can see the white on there. It's printed really well. Black isn't showing through that, which that's really impressive. I know LEGO has a lot of issues with that. And on the back of it, it just says no. So just to wrap up this video, here are all the different pieces that I bought, put on their figures, and I'm very happy with this order, just like all my other orders. And if you're wanting to jump into the custom piece game, I'll have their link in the description. I'd highly recommend getting their things and following them on social media to see when their new releases are. Just some advice, if you're going to be buying things, make sure you get a cart ready ahead of time of anything you want that isn't in the new release, just so it speeds up your checkout process. And check the stock of any item that you want. I usually go in and I'll type in like 500 of a quantity of an item and add to cart and I'll tell you if there's low stock. That way you don't miss out on different pieces. So just with Citizen Brick, again, it's really important that you are on top of it for anything that you really want. They have a lot of great figures that are usually pop culture movie based. So there's just a wide market of different items for anybody really. So thanks for watching and I'll have more videos like this in the future. And I'm going to be doing again a big series on the comparison of different brands and if they're worth it or not.